Hi everybody, this is Amy Elias. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about life. That thing that we're doing every day and the aging part of it that we're doing every day because if you're alive, every day we're aging, right? So I am deeply inspired by my mom who's 91 years old, almost. But I was thinking and reflecting in this little docu-journal that I'm putting together here is that like the navel is the source of life for an embryo, right? And then the baby gets born. Well, so is our epigenome, our diet, our lifestyle, and our environment. Oftentimes, functional medicine practitioners will address all that, as well as macrobiotic lifestyle consultants like myself. I've been doing that for almost 40 years. So I have a little thing here, um, a chart behind me, but I wanted to share with you like today, as far as my diet is concerned, this is the diet piece of it of like, what are, what am I eating? Oops. What am I eating is, and why I eat, right? What I eat. So I like to think of it, this as how do you get to choose the foods and why you choose those foods? Cause food has information. It's not just calories. So we would say calories, schmalories. It's not just about calories. It's not counting calories. It's more about the information that the food choices that you have create within your body, because then we become a biochemistry of all those nutrients and what's happening inside our skin covered Petri dish. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about this. Bring this a little closer. So I call this the plate of the day. And that's the way I'll do my life is I'll say to myself, okay, let's see. the plate of the day is basically Half of the day, half of the plate of the day, so it's not just per meal, it's for the day, is vegetable qualities, plant-based mostly. So why is that good? It has phytoalexins, which is little stimulations of um, toxins that actually make your immune system wake up. So we want to keep doing that, eating foods that are full of that. And it has phytochemicals, lots of vitamins, A, B, C, D, and E, fiber. And the brain and the nervous system need this balance. This is very important. So let's suppose that's half of the day. We'll go there. This half of the day is divided. This half of the plate is divided to protein, fat, and carbs. We need protein in the evening when we sleep during the sleep cycle to rest, repair, and replenish. This keeps the integrity of our cellular structures at the deepest level. Fat we need to kind of insulate the nervous system. So if someone's having lots of anxiety or they're worrying, there's a lot of stress out of control. We need to have some. Uh, fat to kind of balance the neurotransmitters in the brain. This regulates our hormones and it also promotes the detoxification pathway. Over here as well is that uh, we have, it's when we think, when we eat, when we live, when we breathe, we have what's called oxidative stress. And I'm sure you all have heard of antioxidants. Well, fat helps detoxify and antioxidant your body. Now over here, the lowest part, carbs, energy. So energy is something that is made. We're keeping that all alive and helps with cellular motility. Without carbs, and complex carbs we're talking about, like brown rice, things that are multi-saccharide, um, right? Polysaccharide. And so we want to, that's good for our muscle functions, and it's good for human growth hormone production, energy. So I look at my life like that. So today... I woke up and I'm kind of in, going to this thing where I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I had, um, let's suppose, some nuts and fruit this morning. And for lunch, I had a little bit of guacamole. And for just right now, which is about 4.30, I had beans and rice and a little bit more guacamole. But what am I missing? I'm missing more vegetables. So I'm going to be making a fresh salad because I've already had cooked food. I want to have something fresh and something that brings and delivers like lots of vitamins and energy. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how and why we look at food in the way that we do from the perspective of energy and from macrobiotic perspective philosophy. So I'll leave this here for you. Okay, so I will sit down. We'll have a little discussion. So we're going to make coleslaw. So I'm taking fresh cabbage, which I will show you. And there we go. So I'm just taking some cabbage just for one serving because I'm doing it now. You need a grater, carrot, 
scraped, washed with a toe washer or a scrub brush, cabbage, and some onion if you like. You do not need onion, but today I felt like I wanted to have it. I wanted to have something a little pungent. So I'm going to show you the most important thing to do is to choose a really nice knife. So these are two Asian inspired knives, right? Each one has its own function. So notice the curved tip on the edge, on the end, and that's good to kind of do a rocker. I'll show you how to hold it. And this is more for like a slicing. And as you can see in this particular one, there's a little opening. So that's kind of like you can hang it on a little thing, a little screw so that it holds and dries really well. I've had these knives for probably 35 years. So I wanna show you a little bit about what we're going to do. Again, I've washed this. Why did I not peel this? Because inside, on the, on the skin is energy, right? So I wouldn't just be like scraping it away because it doesn't look beautiful. I'm keeping that because this is all vitamin nutrients for us. And again, we're talking about um, information. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a lesson just to, about a carrot because it seems so silly to like we're just talking about this carrot. So a carrot grows underneath the ground with all these green leaferies, right? But notice the young quality or this pointed quality, which is the most contracted to the most expansive with the green leaves. So the different parts of a vegetable have different energy. The lowest part is contracted. So oftentimes we slice things. So if I'm making some, I would slice it on the bias, right? So I just go like on the angle. So why? Because I get a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom. But today, because I am making coleslaw, I'm going to grate this. First, I'm going to slice and dice my cabbage. So I'll move this over to the side. And again, this is really nice um, organic vegetables. And why? Because it's naturally occurring without being interfered with any type of pesticides that interfere with our immune system. So here we go. So you want to always stand up and keep your hands on your cutting surface where your elbows are slightly bent. I probably could be standing a little bit taller so this is a little bit high for this particular case. But again, so watch. So I hold on, bring everything in together. So nature is amazing. It comes packed. Let's just even take a peek at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all the different curly cues and everything in here, the different layers. I wash it, I rinse it out. But what I'm going to do for my coleslaw is I'm going to very gently slice it very thin. So notice I'm on the end, the front edge of the rocker portion of this knife. And I'm going to drop it so I go down and then I reach it very thin, keeping my other hand holding it. And then I slice and slice and slice and slice as thinly as I possibly can. Now, some people may say, well, you really should. You could just do that in the food processor. Yes, you can. But energetically, you're going to get a very high speed feeling because what you're worrying it with, the whir, is going to impact your nervous system. So if you want to feel grounded and relaxed, it's nice to prepare your food with lots of love and lots of TLC. So I will take this down and watch. I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to transfer it. So I'm going to gather it like this, just like this. Take my hand, hold it, and then just drizzle it in. Hold it up. Right now, if I let's suppose I feel like oh, this is the pieces are too long, I can certainly go in there and just give it a little chop chop. Now, you want to take out a little grater and we're going to grate your carrot again, keeping the skin on. I'm just going to grate a little bit, it's a very simple dish to do. So, even if I prepare this now and I have carrots and cabbage, I can create this just like this, refrigerate it, and maybe use it in a stir fry later, or I can. How, listen to how juicy that carrot is, right? So nice. So now I'm going to tap it, move it off to the side, and now I have a nice coleslaw kind of a thing. This is so simple to do. And now you can put more carrots on, but I'm going to put a little bit of onion. I'll grate in afterwards. But I want to show you two products. One is Veggie Knees, and that's a delicious non-dairy veggie nays. It's such a high quality. It's very wonderful, 
really wonderful in the fact that your body really recognizes it without being interfered with anything else to burden it. And then the other part I'm going to put is in apple cider vinegar. Again, a nice alkalizing effect. So what I've done is I have taken some veggies already done for you. And I put it in here. It looks really beautiful. It has a lovely, lovely flavor all on its own. And now I'm going to put in some apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to shake it up because it, the sediment settles. And this is um, Bragg's. And this woman was actually in, the woman, Mrs. Bragg, she was in California. And she, out of her trunk of her car, she gave little bottles of this, like the 60s, when the hippie era was really happening. And that's how she began to market it, right out of the trunk of her car. It has so many medicinal uses, it's very nice, nice to layer. So I'm gonna put, going to put it in. So for salad dressing, typically it's fat and vinegar, right? It's oil and vinegar of some sort. So I'm using the fat of the mayonnaise and the vinegar. This is a very thin quality right now. I'll show you. This is very, very watery. So I probably would go in and use, put in a little bit more fat, put in some salt and pepper, drizzle it in, any other kind of feeling that you want to have. Sometimes I add a little bit of ketchup to make a little Russian dressing. You pour this on top and you let it marinate. You can keep it out, which is a very nice way to keep something room temperature, and then it can cook through time, temperature, and that's it. So now you can see that that is a very delicious, refreshing part of my day. I've had so much cooked food today. The beans, the rice, I've warmed up the guacamole even. So now I'm going to taste test it. I'm going to take a little bite. Perfecto, signore. Okay, go and try it. Oh, you know what you also could do? Is you can shred some nori strips on top and some sesame seeds and pumpkin, toasted pumpkin seeds. That's always a nice thing to add some more nutrients, nutri nutrients to your diet. So you can fold nori sheets. And then I cut them and I put like little strips. And then when you mix it together, it gives a whole other flavor. So this is the beginning of something more. You can chop it. You can put this also, this cabbage carrot mixture into dumplings. You can saute it with mochi, you can, which is like a pounded brown rice, which is also very good. Very good for different parts of the body. So say hello and know that bit by bit, you can shift and change your your life by addressing your epigenetics, your diet, your lifestyle, and your environment. And your lifestyle includes, and your environment includes, your relationships, your career of choice, your family, your health, your overall health, your communications, your connections, your relationships, your romance, your money, your finance, your body. You'll begin to, meal by meal, detoxify by when you eat really healthy food. And then once in a while, you go for the things that you love. Like I love shrimp parmesan hero. I love um, fried chicken, but I haven't had that in a while. But that would be like a splurging food, but not at the time where I'm at right now. Like again, I'm trying to, I am working on reclaiming my, my life. I wasn't feeling awesome during this last few months of the pandemic. And I said, I really do need to shift and change. So bring it back to my mom. 91 year old almost mama my mom every day at 91 she's independent she lives home by herself and every day she prepares herself a salad and she calls it her veggies so like she'll get up and she loves her radishes she loves her tomatoes she'll slice her green pepper and she'll have either egg salad or tuna salad or something that she's having that during the day to have some of those fresh vegetables she's very routinized which means at 91 at at 10.30, excuse me, at 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning, she's already preparing her meal for the rest of the day. This way, you know what you're going to be having and looking forward to. So keeping in mind my little plate of the day, this is a technology that I've been using for like a good 30 years, and it's very easy to access. It's very easy to think of. So if I had pizza, let's suppose today, and I'm like, I'll have pizza. Instead of me feeling guilty and going, oh man, I had pizza, I'm so bad, I had bread, um, 
I had cheese, I really shouldn't. I go, that's fine, I had pizza. I'm missing, that was the fat, the protein, you can consider cheese protein, right? The um, carbs is the bread, I'm missing vegetables. So I would probably do like some sort of a salad, some sort of a cold salad, some sort of vegetable dish that makes me counteract that. So the body's always looking for homeostasis and how do we find it? So many ways. So let's digest this, your epigenetics, your epigenome that's specific to you in your life and create balance, health and wealth, health as well. If you don't have your health, you notice it when it's gone. So let's keep our health going meal by meal, bit by bit, and bring in consciousness and awareness, a sense of mindful presence. All right. That's my docu-journal for the day, inspired by my mama.